Hello and welcome to Butler Gallery, situated in the heart of medieval Kilkenny. Butler Gallery is one of the southeast of Ireland's leading art galleries and museums and today I'll be showing you around and giving you a flavour of what's on offer. We'll explore highlights of Butler Gallery's collection of 20th century Irish art. We'll discover contemporary work by living artists check out art workshops and find out about a legacy of over 800 years. Here we have one of the finest exhibition spaces in Ireland, where Butler Gallery exhibits work of Irish and emerging artists, along with highlighting major international artists. The current exhibition is The Bloods by photographer Amelia Steen which focuses on the Defence Forces, and in particular, the men and women of the James Stevens Barracks here in Kilkenny. This exhibition runs until the 11th of October. Come with me now and we'll check out some highlights of the Butler Gallery's collections. This is the Kilkenny Room, which features work of Kilkenny artists, or work in which scenes of Kilkenny are the subject. Paul Henry was a recognised national figure whose work, perhaps more than any other contemporary Irish artist, epitomised de Valera's conception of Ireland as a rural idyll, focused on the landscape and lifestyles of the West. His images, used widely in tourist advertisements, did much to shape Irish identity during the period 1920 to 1960. This painting, a rare example of an urban landscape by Henry formed an important addition to the collection and now aptly sits opposite the Thalsil in Kilkenny, on which the painting is based. Here is a salon hang of works by celebrated Irish artist Mani Jellett, which show the range of her practice juxtaposed with work by Evie Hone and contemporary artist Aideen Barry. Jack B. Yeats was the most inventive artist working in Ireland in the first half of the 20th century and one of the few who enjoyed an international reputation during his lifetime. He showed at New York's famous Armoury Show in 1913 and went on to be admired by such figures as Oscar Kokoschka and the art critics Sir Kenneth Clarke and John Berger. This painting, in Yeats' familiar thick impasto and typical palette for the 1940s, shows his predilection for isolated wild places where the imagination can flourish without restriction. Now we come to the O'Malley Wing, which is dedicated to the beloved Kilkenny artists Tony O'Malley and his wife Jane O'Malley. Tony and Jane's union was a great love story. Jane and Tony met in St Ives in Cornwall and married in 1973 and they spent 33 years of happy times living and working together. In 1990, the couple moved permanently to Physician Town near Callan, County Kilkenny, where Tony was born and died in 2003. Tony O'Malley was a highly respected and beloved artist and his work encompassed painting, drawing and sculptural constructions which are represented in all major Irish museums and included in the most significant public and private collections of Irish art. Throughout O'Malley's life he made self-portraits. O'Malley has left us a great gift, a wealth of self-portraits by which to remember him. Tony and Jane O'Malley enjoyed many exotic trips to the Bahamas, the tropics and Lanzarote. These trips are reflected in the work of both Tony and Jane O'Malley as we see at Butler Gallery. Jane O'Malley's work is characterised by a rich, saturated coloration that is reminiscent of the places she worked and lived, and also by her interest in juxtaposing everyday objects against the landscape. Here we see Jane and Tony in a contented domestic scene. On leaving the O'Malley Wing, we come to the final two collection galleries, which show how eclectic the Butler collection is, 
we have abstract, modern and contemporary works by some of Ireland's most famous artists, including Louis Le Brocchi, Evie Hone, Mae Guinness, Patrick Scott, Barry Cook and Camille Souter, to name but a few. Louis Le Brocchi, one of the most innovative Irish artists in the 1940s and 50s, was the first Irish artist to win the Premio Acquisto International Award at the Venice Biennale when he represented Ireland in 1956. He was elected C by members of Estona in 1992. He has been acknowledged by museum retrospective exhibitions worldwide and his work is represented in numerous public and private collections. Barry Cook was a board member of the Butler Gallery for over 20 years when he lived in Kilkenny, 1965 to 1990, painting, fishing and mentoring a generation of younger artists. In his own practice, Cook was distinguished by his passion to link art and nature, calling attention to the destruction of rainforests and the contamination of lakes and rivers with their subsequent destruction of plants and fish. Widely collected nationally and internationally, Cook collaborated with his friend Seamus Heaney and executed brilliantly flamboyant portraits of writers, artists and poets who were his friends. Butler Gallery has a state-of-the-art digital gallery with high-tech audio-visual facilities showing film and digital content that's related to what's on in the gallery. Butler Gallery runs an eclectic range of adult and children's workshops all year round, showcasing a range of media in the making of contemporary art. So if you're interested in developing your knowledge and skills, check out butlergallery.ie for what's on. This is Muse Coffee Plus Food, with fantastic outdoor seating. So after enjoying your time in the gallery, you can relax and it's open till 8pm on Thursday nights. I hope you've enjoyed our snapshot tour of Butler Gallery as much as I have and we look forward to seeing you here someday soon. <laughs>